was growing up. And uh, I remember stretching before I uh, played, started playing basketball and whatnot. And people used to ask me, like, why do you take so long to stretch? And, you know, uh, they used to mess with me, call me Stretch Armstrong. And, uh, they used to call me all types of names and stuff like that because I used to stretch. And like, I used to, I used to stretch. And uh, after I finished stretching, I'd be sweating and stuff like that. People look at me like, I mean, how you sweating and, you, and you're stretching? And I was like, man, this is, the, this is like your preparation. You know, and life is like that, it's preparation. I, I remember as I was stretching, you know, I would sit there and I was visualizing kind of the things that I need to do for practice or before the game. You know, I, I would take myself there with that shot, make sure, you know, I'm running the play right and all that when they're shooting. You know, what's their, what's their, what they've been showing me on the court, you know, what's their best area to be at. And, um, you know, God, God treats us like that when it comes to his word and, and prayer and things like that. That's your time to, to stretch, to begin to uh, build your faith up, to begin to, to build your vision up, to build your goals up. And, you know, I, 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 I'm sitting here stretching now and, I, and I'm sitting there just thinking about how, you know, how much I, I observed and how much I, I seen, you know, from stretching. You know, I got to see, you know, who was serious about what they were doing and who wasn't. I got to see, you know, who's, who, whose habits, you know, who, who got hurt a lot and why they got hurt a lot. You know, I always used to tell people, like, I, the only thing I've ever done was sprain my ankle. You know, I've never I never got any serious injuries. When he calling me, like, man, you got, I ain't had to take call time out to get pulled off the court, you know, for cramping up. You know, this is what stretching does and, and, and putting the right things in your body, uh, drinking liquids, you know, making sure you're, you're hydrated. But, man, I just, I'm, just, I'm just excited for what God is doing. Uh, in my life right now, he, he's truly transformed my thoughts. He's uh, reminding me of things. The, the Holy Spirit is reminding me of things. He's 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 my teacher, and he he teaches me all things, and and he brings remembrance. He brings things that that you should remember, the good things in life, and, and some of the even some of the bad things that you might think of, and you know at some point you're looking at it like okay. You know, what did I learn from that that situation in my life? You know, everybody has a story. Uh, nobody's story is small. Nobody's story is big. Um, every story is amazing. It's meant to be a testimony to somebody. It's meant to impact somebody. And so, you know, as I stretch, you know, I, I say, I, some, I sit there and pray sometimes, and, I, and I'm sitting there, and I'm just like, God, I, I pray that I'm stretching into you. I didn't realize what I was saying, you know, Lord Father God, I pray that your word stretches into me, that, it, that it, it makes me better, that it improves me daily, that it builds me up. I'm exercising my faith. I'm exercising my vision. You know, God, I thank you, Lord Father God, for, you know, my, my book, Lord Father God, Rise Up and Pray, Lord. I pray, Lord Father God, that as it, you know, hits the stores, as it hits uh, people's households, Lord, uh, a transformation will come to their life, Lord, even if they don't read it, Lord. I pray that healing comes to their family, to their relationships, to their health, to their finances. Lord Father, over their calling, Lord Father God, that you will begin to reveal yourself to them. I remember saying that as I was writing the book. I remember saying that, you know, out loud to myself as I was stretching, you know, you know, Lord, let me let me be good, you know, today, Lord Father God. Let, let my shot fall. You know, give me give me insight. Let me be able to see, you know, things before it happens. You know, keep me safe. You know, keep the people on my team safe. You know, let us let us find something to glorify you today, Lord. You know, we used to start, set up set up different things throughout before we practice stuff. We might say the Lord's prayer together. You know that that stuff is powerful. You know, I, I, it's a shame uh, that a lot of people now are trying to get away from that. But the foundation, foundation, you know, that, that's important. You know, what's your foundation? What you standing on? If you don't have a, a foundation, you'll fall for anything. To the left and the right, you won't know how to say no at the right time for the right reasons. Uh, so begin to stretch. You know, begin to stretch your, your muscles, uh, your, your wisdom and knowledge. Spend time in, in prayer. Spend time reading the Bible. Spend time, you know, reading books that'll improve your thought process. You know, 
how to think and grow rich, you know, how to win friends and influence people, you know, financial books, uh, financial peace, you know, financial uh, fitness, or, you know, whatever, whatever it is that you need to, to face, you need to be able to, to do that. And, I mean, I tell you, man, I'm only 33, but I learned a lot, and I, I thank God for wisdom. I, I thank Him for peace. I thank Him for patience. I mean, I thank God for favor. I thank Him for love and His grace and His mercy. Man, God's truly amazing. In the private chambers, you know, of your thoughts and getting it out and beginning to speak on things. Just know that you're here to, you're here for a reason. You're here for a purpose. Today's a good day to, to spend some time searching for your purpose. You know, refining some things, rekindling some things. Uh, the fire is in you. You just need to bring it out. You need to bring it out. Well, my name is Ricardo Cordu, and you know this is a a be, un, be unlimited episode. This is a uh, day number two of Be Unlimited, and um, man, I'm just so happy and so grateful that God is truly uh, using me. Uh, to be a to be a message, to be a voice, and uh, my testimony is just a just a testimony that'll begin to to uplift you and, and begin for you to tell your story.